Yes. You. I do. The one, the one closest to you that's a gold dragon. Uh huh. Looks like a really young version of Oolong. Really. Indeed. Okay. All right. So he's he's got like the 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 adornments in his beard and stuff. Um, he's got a more martial look to him. Okay. And cotton, like, all okay, that. Okay, so he looks way more clean shaven. All right. He he still looks a little messed, but he's not. He's not as messy as he usually is. Okay. And he looks rather uncomfortable in his rather fancy outfit that he has on. Okay. Does he have a staff with him? I would recognize his staff. Uh, he does not actually currently have a staff with him. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm still not sure if it's him. Okay. All right. I'm 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 looking at him inquisitively, trying not to trying to trying to show that I'm not noticing him, but I'm still kind of. You're trying to be subtle. Kind of, I'm trying the word to you want is subtle. <laughs> yes, the word I want is subtle. So, trying to, trying to be subtle about it. Um, do I recognize anybody from the outcasts because of Harik and the gang? Um, the... Because Harik, Harik's really interesting because he's technically a Genasi, but he's but he's of dragonkin, so he's, he might be a little different. So, is do I do I see Harik up there or no? Um, they're, the fire gun side that you do see has uh -huh. a has actually a flaming beard. Okay, so yeah. And he is in black, like this dark black plate mail. Okay. Wait, just, okay, flaming beard, yeah. Does that mean his, like, plate mail is, like, super heated all the time? Because, you know, fire wears, goes down. Wears some sort of, like, resistance armor, usually. No, I'm just, I like, just... as an idea. Sorry, okay. anyway. All right, so... Listen. Uh, it was like I'm, more of an errand I'm letting Varen do else. his thing. I'm letting Varen do his thing. Get the Ninja Assassin. Yeah. Um, you uh, can what tell... did my 13 get me, by the way? Uh, the person who is kind of on the forward dais is Degult Neverwinter. No, uh, I was talking Neverember. specifically about the oh. Winter Home. <laughs> oh. Um, you've heard some things about it. Nothing overly impressive. Okay. So I've got no idea, pretty but, much. But, um... You you remember something about the uh, it being called like the emerald ankle or something? You're not you're not entirely sure, uh, but it, it's definitely else? definitely what else? <laughs> okay. Um. Right. Yeah, you you do I recognize Never Ember quite quite easily. Uh, Brawn Anvil, you also can tell because of your you know, nature with knowing dwarves and such. Ah, uh, yep. You, um, you know he's one of the, um... Is he near Dad's Cape? Near Dad's Cape? Is that the yeah. Empire? Okay. He's, he's an ambassador from over there. I wouldn't have met him. I might have met him, actually. Like, okay. In the, like, ten years or so that I was living at that cape... There's a chance I would have met the ambassador at least once. First, um, but anyway. Yeah, probably. Like in passing, like he'd probably like I recognize him, and I imagine he'd recognize me. But anyway, there's a handle there. Um. All right. Cool. Uh. Yeah. I don't know what we're up to now. So, um, I remember standing over there a couple of minutes ago. What happened in my absence? I'm talking to them again. Um, uh, no one really noticed that you were in the back. You oh. also noticed that Rosa doesn't seem to be in the uh, area as well. This is all getting filed into the shit that can get deal dealt with later. Hmm. But, uh, Neverember kind of signals a whole bunch of his troops to kind of just whisk you guys away, as several less impressive than the folk around you guards kind of drag you off into another room. There you go. And uh, the person from the Harpers seems to kind of duck out as you're being led away. Okay. So, and you're like, the first question should be, because I imagine we've been left in the room now. Yeah. yeah you... oh, sorry, did I jump the gun? I apologize. The, the door kind of starts to close 
then the uh, the Harper's lady comes in right right as it's about to close and then closes it after and says, How did you manage to get into the council chambers like that? To be fair, I was already here, <laughs> and then your stupid... Wait, hang on. The, then I turn to the Shizuka, I'm like, Your stupid platinum god decided to whisk me out of the dimension for a brief <laughs> chat. <laughs> And I and I just kind of look. I just could kind of look at him and go, "Nice to see you again, Baron." Again. Again. We've met. Um. From the future, no. <laughs> 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 I thought about it. Um, I I kind of look over at Baron and goes, "Yeah, um, I I'm bleh. you." will know me soon. Let's just say that. Okay. That's incredibly cryptic and not at all helpful as an answer. I narrow my eyes um, and turn to the It's a pleasure um... to see you again and then shakes your hand. <laughs> and I kind of I kind of look at him and says, "Don't don't worry. We'll have um we'll have a drink." We'll, we'll have a drink later and, and share some stories, but for now, let's let's. Uh, I I'm at your disposal for whatever we need uh, we need to get done. Well, it seems like there's quite a bit to get done, so. Fair. So the the Harper lady kind of interjects and says, "You met Bahamut? Yes. Bahamut's involved." Hey, and I um, can I can I inside her real quick? Yes. Can I inside her real quick? Okay. What are you what are you looking for by the way? Um I'm just seeing if she's genuinely curious or if she's got some uh uh ulterior motives like um she seems kind of dumbfounded like okay. why right. is he involved? Okay. Um I kind of okay. look at her and go I, I kind of look at her and go Bahamut. Nothing. No 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 Bahamut. You know, it's just, it's it's just a saying, you know. Oh, Bahamut, I stubbed my toe. I'm totally rolling a deception. <laughs> I'm totally, totally rolling a deception. <laughs> she, she's a member of the Harpers and looks oh, right yeah, right and, through and, your and attempt. No, and no, I'm tr and, and knows I'm trying to, to bullshit her, and I go, okay. I, I notice what Shizuka's doing and attempt to redirect her attention. Fair. Uh, Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> Forgive me, but where am I? And perhaps more importantly, what year is it? What year? What year is it? <laughs> it's fourteen eighty nine. Before or after? It's it's the same. Six months before, yes, or is it? It's it's about. Six or seven months before. Okay. And mentions that it is also night hall twelve. Metal. Is, okay, is, is so the, it is spring. Is the day? It's no, it's like winter. It's almost current. Yeah, it, it's actually. it's almost winter. Oh, it's metal. Okay. Oh, so okay. All right. Yeah, because we did ours in the summer. We did our little excursion in the summer. All right. Wait, All right. Thank you. She kind of stops. Kind of what? Why would you not know the day? Because of reasons. Oh. You didn't okay. answer other questions. We're, 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 we? we're, we're getting caught in the small details. Where are we? We're getting caught in small details. We're getting caught in small details. We're getting caught in the small right. details. Sorry, hang on. Let me get my Varen on. Anyway, we're getting caught. No, fuck it. You know I'm just going to have to do it as it is. We're getting caught in the small details. So we have a bigger problem. This dragon fright is both bigger and more complicated and more important than originally anticipated. I kind of I kind of look over at the the guy the the lady standing there and I go is is she to be trusted with this information? We need What we information? Talk. What information? Any information involving anything that I you wink. were about to say. I wink. Okay. She she looks almost disgusted at you. I'm the leader of the Harpers. And we know you are nearly the single most useless group. Fucking spies that are out. I fucking remember that, um, what's his name campaign? I remember having to track that stupid fucking caravan for you, Babel. 
Oh, I knew your name sounded oddly familiar. Aki told me about you some bit ago. Yeah, how is the old ferret? Uh, he's been getting himself into trouble now and then, but... But nothing's near. Nothing's new. <sighs> yeah, let's, let's just say we re... Um... Wait, one sec. I, I right. did not mean to offend, milady. I once knew a man... I once knew a great demon who turned himself into a dwarf and systematically ate a small village. So, unfortunately, sometimes that I sounds can awful. be... Yeah, some, sometimes I can be just a tad apprehensive about sharing useful information. Understandable. Information is power. Let's have white. I like her already. Anyway, so we need to get back in there as one of the teams. I think I have a better use for you, but you you are full welcome to go back. I was just making sure you weren't a security risk. No, how, was... But but how did you manage to get into the chambers? We, I was this already place here. is very well warded. But I was the other already three, here. I don't know. I was also already directing here. directly into the other three. I imagine. She kind of looks you over. Yes, you, you do look oddly familiar. But you two. How did you two get in? Hello, Pino. I fell through the ceiling. Interesting. There, and I kind of look at her and I'm like, they're with me. We, we were sent here by a very powerful force of good to be able to do a lot of good for this city and for all of the people and stop something very, very horrible from happening. Ramallah. Oh, Let's I, just I, say, I, the gods are up to their usual shenanigans and it's our turn to play our part. Yeah. She kind of, like, kind of motions the door and opens it. So you mean Ramalia? I, I have, a, have a task for you, if you're willing to, after the uh, meeting's over. Before we accept any and all job opportunities, we need to have a team meeting, and then we'll we'll talk. Yep. Over I imagine you already know where my inn is, as I walk out. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Come on, you two. Also, Shizuka here is kind of a slightly gravelier voice than usual, but it still has a very familiar kind of crackled undertone to it. Yeah. As the uh, the fire. Gensai yells at Neverember, who has been talking. Y you could kind of hear him through the uh, the doors, but not really impressive enough to understand what he's saying. And says, "Get down to the brass tacks. We need to know what we're doing. We came here to fight, not to talk." Simple. We kill the dragons. <laughs> and... I'm guessing all the dragonborns are like, "Wait, wait, us? No, no." <laughs> The the dragonborns actually kind of like kind of do like a little kind of celebratory huzzah to at that kind of notion. <laughs> Kill the dragons. Kill the dragons. Kill the dragons. Not all the dragons, mind you. Only those who think who are stupid enough to believe that resurrecting. Fuck line. Kill the dragons. No. Thank you. The resurrecting Tiamat is a good idea. Here, here. We know that there's a cult that's stupid enough to try, so we go in and we systematically kill them all. Christ, that's why we're here. Never ever kind of just looks at you with this amount of vitriol in his eyes that if if he was a mage, you might be dead. And says, "Fine, we'll we'll split up the parties into their." respective tasks, and we'll get down to our needed. If I could make a suggestion, my lord. What is it? Every every party should be given a handler from the Harpers to keep the internet the, well, the, the information internet. network alive. What's, what is and this internet? <laughs> the internet is a network He's of information by which I am entering. 